Welcome everybody, thank you very much for joining us today for another video of A Cafe with Alumni. Today I have with me Alvin Lee. Hello Hi. Alvin. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. And today he will talk about the DCM or Diploma in Culinary Management. So please Alvin, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Alvin Lee. Um, I was born in Hong Kong, grew up in the UK and I studied the, the Grand Diploma with Diploma in Culinary Management and currently I'm the senior chef de party at the Savoy Grill. Thank you very much, Alvin. But coming back to your studies, yes. why did you choose to come to Le Cordon Bleu London? I chose to come to Le Cordon Bleu London because of its renowned uh, brand, the quality and the caliber of the teaching staff, and also the, the school's um, extensive network that can help students afterwards. Okay, that's great. And how was your experience at Le Cordon Bleu London? It was intense, um, it's but valuable, uh, but along the way I got so much help that I needed. So I, would, I really enjoyed it. So it was good overall? Or? <laughs> it was very good <laughs> because it opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Great. So, how did the Diploma in Culinary Management complement what you learned from the Grand Diploma? Ah, in the Grand Diploma, uh, I mostly, well, the Grand Diploma is uh, a skill um, diploma that I learned all the finest skills in both, well, I took the Grand, so I, in both culinary and pastry. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, and the DCM actually ties everything together. Uh, so that I can use these skills to build my own business. And how has this helped your career? That is a good question because uh, I am now uh, a full-time employed chef and with the knowledge in the DCM as well as at the Grand Diploma, um, I have a better rapport with my head chef um, uh, because of my understanding of the whole business and what also the business owner needs to do. It gives me confidence in stepping into the industry as a chef or as a restaurant manager because I have other skill sets. So through the training, we're not being spoon fed with information and just re remembering things, but we are actually putting ourselves in situation where we need to work out the answers. How do you think that Le Cordon Bleu Diploma in Culinary Management compares to other courses? I think it is, it's hard to compare because other management courses um, deal with a general business uh, situation but Le Cordon Bleu uh, DCM uh, gives us specific um, skill sets in coming up with it uh, or in researching uh, a restaurant concept, uh, designing the restaurant, designing the kitchen, um, using a restaurant uh, management software system, and, um, and also um, kitchen sessions to learn and explore the top, well, the techniques of the, of all the top modern um, fine dining restaurants. So, Alvin? What is the best experience or best things that you learn in Le Cordon Bleu London? The best experience is to be taught by a group of such high caliber world class chefs. Mm -hmm. And from the DCM um, in general, I think it gave me very in-depth and a holistic view of how to run a restaurant business. Okay, thank you very much. And what, thinking about the DCM, sorry, what is an average day on the course like? We, on, uh, we have lecture days, we have lectures in different areas such as uh, restaurant designs and, and, the, and the management systems as I said earlier and then also we have the uh, kitchen sessions and the kitchen sessions are around three hours and, and I find it particularly interesting is that each one we will have um, uh, specific techniques to look at. Um, the one that I remember most is the one that we explore all the techniques 
probably mo yeah, all the techniques in the um, molecular gastronomy. So we get to use different ingredients and to achieve um, the different, uh, different results that is used around the world in top uh, fine dining restaurants. So Alvin, what did you find most challenging during your time at Le Cordon Bleu London? I think the most challenging things are um, after each time we get gradings mm -hmm. for you know whatever part of the course or what whichever piece of the work is uh, look at the chef's uh, recommendations and then don't worry don't worry about the the grades where, whether they are you know really good or really bad and just keep moving forward mm -hmm. and keep learning and keep improving. Okay, but do you think that with the three months course of the DCM was yeah. enough to learn all these things? In at that time, I think it was uh, very, very challenging. But in hindsight, it, it was achievable. Okay. And and because if I have to do it again, there are um, methods that I can I can you know improve in terms of the quality and the time. But through at the beginning, it was very hard, and then um, later on, I have all the mentoring, you know, in school from the different mentors that are signed for different section of the course, mm -hmm. and it smoothed out a lot towards the end. What opportunities opened up to you after graduating? It was, I was very fortunate. Uh, I was uh, contacted uh, immediately to join um, a new startup restaurant as the um, opening team. That's great. Yes. And it was just because of the DCM or because the Grand Diplom? It's because the Grand Diplom gave me the skills. Mm -hmm. And then DCM, um, um, during DCM I participated uh, in quite a few um, external um, events such as the uh, Cakes and Bakes uh, exhibition, mm -hmm. the Tower of London Food Festival, and then through those um, events, I got to know people that uh, contacted me afterwards. That sounds really good. But coming back to the diploma, was it hard to learn so much so quickly? Yes, it's, it, at that time it's, uh, it seems really difficult. And uh, with, but with the right methods, mm -hmm. um, it got better, and I got my help from mentors and teaching chefs. Oh, so you weren't by yourself for the three months? Yes. Great. And in your opinion, what is the best part of studying at Le Cordon Bleu London? Oh, the I think the best part is is being in. London is a very diverse um, city mm -hmm. and Cordon Bleu, I felt, um, you know, in Cordon Bleu, London is really the hub, international hub of the whole Cordon Bleu. Mm -hmm. Because you have colleagues from everywhere? Oh, I have like or? colleagues from, every, uh, from, from around the world and during lectures from time to time, we will see another um, Cordon Bleu chef sitting with us in, in the um, in the lecturing uh, hall, um, looking at the lecturing, and then later on found out they were um, the, the chefs that will be teaching in uh, other country uh, of Cordon Bleu branches. That is so nice. And do you think that the diploma is enough training to go into a role as a professional chef? I definitely do, because that what happened to me. Um, and then after that, there are still so much on the job training as a, from a junior chef mm -hmm. moving forward. Okay, but I think this is a good question. What are the exams like? Ah, the exams, which are very different from the uh, Grand Diploma, uh, the culinary uh, course um, exams, because those are um, exper experiment, like not experiments, but you, you need to perform. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the DCM, except one presentation which you need to stand in front uh, to present your business concept for three minutes 
uh, and everything else is a project based. So it's a project, it's a report um, that you send in. Okay, and have you got any other type of exams? Um, no, that's it. Okay. So they were, as you said, different than they Yeah, were. it's a project, project based, except one presentation, three minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, after that it's a, all project based, just one big project. Great. And then maybe you can use it when you finish the course? So it's, it can be a real project then? It, it is designed that way uh, as if you are opening your own business. And to be honest, uh, we have references of uh, past projects from, um, from past DCM students. And those projects actually went into action okay. and became real response. That sounds lovely. Yes. So it can help you at the end as well. Definitely. And what advice could you give to someone looking to follow in your footsteps? I think as a location, if uh, anyone wants to uh, come, to the, come into the culinary world or the F&B world, mm -hmm. please visit London because at the moment um, London has a serious shortage of human resource in this industry. And um, from my experience, um, learning and getting education from Le Cordon Bleu is very beneficial to me. And then moving forward personally, after stepping into the industry, uh, my journey was being curious, knocking on doors. Mm -hmm. uh, once I get an opportunity to step into a, a kitchen as a junior chef, um, I work hard, I keep going, try to develop a, a, a nerve of steel yes. and then um, at the same time trying to be sensitive, to be to kind to myself and each other. Great, thank you. And finally, what are your plans for the future? Well, I like to have my own business and stay being a happy chef. So we wish you all the luck to open your own business, but are you planning to open it now or maybe in the future? Because maybe you prefer to gain a little bit more experience or? It's, it is a, a good opportunity right now mm -hmm. um, in the UK, uh, but I feel that I need a little bit more experience. Great, so in this case, as I said, good luck in the future Thank with you very your much. restaurant. And thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Our pleasure. And thank you all for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.